So in the process of building out fog ponic gardens, I noticed something interesting. So all of these fog or, or mist humidifiers, they all use the same technology to create the fog. And they all use a very similar engineering to move the fog up and out. So in this video, I wanna implement the same technology and design principles to make a large room DIY humidifier. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. You need a five gallon bucket with a lid that seals. You're gonna need a two inch PVC pipe, at least three feet in length. Mine is four and a half feet. You need the ultrasonic fogger with floater and a splash guard. I have a link down below to the exact one that I have. It comes with everything. It also comes with three extra ceramic plates, so it'll last you a lot longer, which is awesome, and the tool to change it. Okay, you're gonna need that five volt USB fan, which is also linked up down below. You're gonna need a glue gun, you need a knife or scissors, a two inch hole bit, you need a drill, and we'll start with a half inch bit to make some holes in the bottom of the PVC pipe. So those holes are all there to ensure that the fog makes it up no matter how high the water level is. Okay, so while we have the half inch bit in, let's go ahead and drill the hole in the top of the rim of the bucket for the wire and the grommet to fit through. So you're likely gonna need to get more slack on the wire, I did. Um, so you can move the grommet up the wire, but you really need to make sure that you are securing the other end of the wire tightly with your hand, or it will rip the wire out of the fogger. This is spoken from experience. So everything has to be as airtight as possible for the air to be forced through the pipe properly. All right, so now let's switch from the half inch to the two inch bit so we can put a hole right in the center of the lid for our pipe to go through. Then we're gonna trace out the fan so that we can cut a hole for the fan as well. I use my knife, you can use a pen or a marker, and this doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be filling the gaps with hot glue. So let's go ahead and get our glue gun warmed up. I lay a nice thick bead around the fan. Just be careful not to get any glue on the blades. And you're gonna to wanna to really gob it up on the wires. They're really fragile and the more secure they are, the better, trust me. Okay, so once you have the circumference covered, let's fill the holes that are there for mounting it, just to make sure things are airtight. All right, and while that's drying, let's take the bottom with the fogger in it down to the sink and fill the bucket as much as we can. Seems like this is about four gallons. All right, now we can plug it in and test the fogger. If there are any kids in the house, this is usually a hit. Okay, now let's seal it up and install the pipe. It should be a pretty tight fit, that, that's what you want. Even so, I'm gonna go ahead and run a bead of glue along the seam just to be safe. So also, if you want a simple humidistat, something that you can plug into the wall that'll turn on and off with a set humidity, I've linked up a few great options down below. We live in Colorado and it's crazy dry here at 7,000 feet, so we just keep ours constantly on. It seems like one fill seems to last about two and a half days. You can just undo the top, carry the bucket back downstairs and then bring it back up and, and hook it all back up. And if you want an even more dense fog, you can always add another fogger to the chamber. I think I'm gonna do a follow-up video where I do just that, add another fogger to the chamber and a humidistat. So make sure you're subscribed for that video. If this is in the future and I've already made that video, I'll put a card for it right here and you can go check that out. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time.